This is Rob with SaveNet AT, and today we're doing an integration of AppUX with our Luna SA HSM for Government. I'll be using the evaluation version of the OVA from AppUX. So using this virtual image, the first step after logging in is to run the Python network configuration script. Assuming you're running AppUX on your own system, you should already have networking set up. It is important for AppUX that we have a valid host name, including the fully qualified domain name. This will be used for the license generation. Now that the network is configured, we can reboot the machine. For the App UX integration, we will need the Luna SA HSM for Government client configured. We do have guides and videos available for configuring the Luna SA HSM for Government client. Since I'm using the virtual image provided by App UX, I have mounted the CD image for our Luna client. We'll run through and do a quick install of the client. Then we CD into the Luna client bin directory. We'll run VTL create cert and specify the IP address as the name. We're using static IP addressing for this one. Next, we exchange certificates between the client and the server. And we use the VTL add server command using the IP address of the SA for the name and specifying the cert file we downloaded from the appliance. And then VTL list will show the server is added. Next, we log into the appliance so that we can register the client. We use the client register command, giving it a client name. In this case, I'm using AVX test and the IP address of the client. Once the client is registered, we need to assign a partition to that client using the client assign partition command, using the same client name and giving it a partition name. In this case, I've already created a partition called test1, so I will assign that partition. Now on the client, we can use VTL Verify and see that we have access to that partition. Again, more information about setting up the Luna SA HSM for government is available on our other integration guides and how-to videos. Now that we know the client can reach the partition, if we use the partition show contents command, we can see that the partition is currently empty we can begin the installation of AppUX. Now that we have networking configured and the Luna SA HSM client configured, we can use SSH to open a session into the server. Here we'll log in as the user AppUX and then change directory into installer directory. And then we'll edit the file appvx.config. We can use the search command to look for the HSM and we see that setting is under Available Vendor Plugins. We can copy this text string. It's AVX underscore vendor underscore cert underscore HSM. Now if we search under Enabled Plugins, we'll find the line in the configuration file that we need to edit. At the end of the Enabled Plugins line, we'll need to append a comma and then AVX Vendor Cert HSM. Now that we have this file edited, we can run the installer script, installer.sh. This is a fresh installation, so we'll select one. And now we need to enter an installation path. I'll select the default here and just hit return. And then we can see installation is now complete. At this point, we can view AppUX through the web browser using the IP address and port 5004.
and we see the screen is asking us to upload a license file. To obtain this license file, we'll need to contact AppViewX customer support and send them our fully qualified domain name. From the scripts subdirectory, we can use AppViewX dash dash license host dash fetch. This will print out the host name as it's recorded in the database. We'll need to send this text string to AppViewX customer support in order to get a license file. Once we upload the license file into AppViewX, we'll be presented with the regular login screen. Once logged into AppViewX, we can click in the top left corner and then select Inventory Device. Then under Devices, we'll click on HSM. Then we click on Configure Now. And that brings us to the HSM configuration screen. Here we'll give it a name. I've used SafeNet AT. For description, I use SafeNet AT HSM. For implementation type, I'll be using both. If you'd like more information about the specific implementation types, please contact AppViewX customer support. We'll be leaving default on and using the default data center. For the slot ID, we'll use the same slot ID that was reported by the Luna client in our VTL verify session. We'll give it the partition password to log into the partition. And then we specify a name for the AppViewX key that will be created on the HSM. I'm using AVX test key. As you can see, the partition on the HSM is currently empty. So now we apply the settings on AppViewX. And then if we view the contents of the partition again, we can see that that key has been created. Now at any point from AppViewX, using the Inventory Device screen and clicking on HSM, we can view the configured SafeNet AT HSM. And this concludes configuring AppViewX to run with our Luna SA HSM for Government.